a lot of games when in development have some sort of command, item or other useful thing for developer to test their game more efficiently. Skyblock is no exception and has a pretty cool test item that the devs used for testing. Hello everybody, my name is Bowie and in this video we'll be looking at the test totem in Skyblock. We'll be looking at what it does, how it looks like and the history on how it's changed this couple of weeks. The test totem is a hacked iron totem that in early May was duplicated a bunch and bunch of time by hackers that acquired it illegally. After it was duplicated a lot of times, it got distributed to other people for cash, coins or robux, making the item as of this day quite obtainable for normal people. But on May 10th, 2020, an update came to the test totem, finally breaking the balance that has happened to the game. The test totem is now just a reskinned iron totem and has no benefits. In fact, you could argue the test totem is even worse than the iron totem. Because when you try to place the test totem, you can see that its radius is a 3 by 3 area, making placing it in tight spaces quite a pain. Having the test totem in your inventory is actually quite dangerous, because before May 10th, where they nerfed the test totem, you could actually get banned for just having the item in your inventory even if you weren't the one hacking it. If you were a player that didn't know that the test totem was hacked and paid a lot of money or even robux for it, your account could have been banned. Luckily, at this moment in time, you can't get banned for having the item in your inventory. But there might be a chance in the future that you can get banned for having this item in your inventory. So I'm quite unsure if it's even smart to get this totem. You might want to be careful. Another thing that you would notice when you get the test totem is that it's completely invisible when in your hand. When you take the iron totem, you can see a little preview of what the totem will look like in your hand. But the iron totem is completely invisible. As of now, the test totem is completely useless and it is a super overpriced iron totem. But if you are a collector, it might be cool to own the test totem. However, you do gotta keep in mind that the possibility of being banned is present. To be honest, I would not suggest you trying to get your hands on the test totem. For one, it does nothing and the whisks are a little bit too big. Because of what happened, I'm really wondering what the devs did. Do they just not make test items anymore? Or is their system a lot more secure now? Because it seems kind of strange that not another test item has popped up. Because I'm quite sure the devs have some sort of tool on giving themselves all the new items to test if the crafting recipes work. But they might remove them now when they publish the game to avoid hackers getting their hands on them. Even though some of you are probably disappointed that the test totem got nerfed, I do gotta say this was one of the best outcomes the dev could have done. What I don't understand though is that I don't made a script that would just remove all the test totems from everybody's inventory. That is quite strange. Do they want people to only test totem as memory? Hmm. I wonder. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to join the Discord server in the link in the description. If you like this video and want to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!